How about I'll start it? Hi, Camilla. Thank you for giving us the time in your busy schedule for this interview. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Suzanne's got quite a few questions for you. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Okay. Um, the first question I have for you is where do you get all the inspiration for your art? Um, you know, the inspiration question, I get it a lot. And it's actually the hardest question to answer. It's like the first thing everybody wants to know. Um, and I wish I had the simplest answer for you, but most of my um, ideas come at random and they come from like, I'll be on Facebook and someone will post a zebra shark. And I'm like, oh my god, what's that? And then, like, and then suddenly I'll picture a girl with a zebra shark on her head and just crying tears of oil. And, um, and then all this profoundness comes without, um, like, it, it, it comes randomly. Um, sometimes I have, I have dreams, like really, like, um, these, I wake up and I'm like, what was that? I have to paint it. Um, and then other times, like, I'll, I, I like fashion a lot, so I'll, um, I'll go online and I'll look up all this fashion, and even though most of my girls are actually naked, um, and so they, like, lack any fashion at all, um, I think I'm driven by the photography and just by what um, I guess the, the the beauty of actual people can inspire. Um, and then, oh my God, it's like I told you, it's a very complicated answer. It's uh, also in like literature. And whenever I I read poetry, I'm so moved. Like I will I'll cry all the time. Like my fiance finds me on the computer, and I'm just like just weeping. And he's like, what did, what, what happened? And I'm like, I just wrote a poem. And he's like, oh my gosh, really? And I'm like, yeah. Um, or anime. I mean, the Japanese culture and the way they tell stories, it's so incredible. And I think it's thanks to the Japanese um, that I started to picture girls that had, were, be, were, were surreal. You know, they had like red eyes and they had blue hair and, and they, they seem to exist in our world, but not. Like, like just, it, it's everyday life and this girl has like green hair. You're like, why? Because and so um, I think I take a lot of that with my with, with my paintings. In fact, I don't think I've ever really painted a girl that was, you know, brown hair blue eye or brown hair brown eyed. You know, there's always an element of um, fantasy in in how I represent them, and I think that comes from the Japanese inspiration. Um, how critical are you of your own work? Like, will you scrap a piece of artwork because you don't think it's good enough? Or Oh my god, yes. In fact, um, if it wasn't for my sister and my fiance, I probably would have scrapped a lot of things from now. Like they, um, I think I'm the hardest um, critic on myself. Like I'm often not happy with my work, um, and I always joke because um, I'll finish. Like now, I actually do finish anything I start. Um, but I'll joke because the pieces that I maybe don't like or I had the hardest time with seem to be the one the fans love the most, and I'm like, really? about that one, the one I love, and everyone's like, no, I like this one, and I'm like, God, no, don't. So, it's weird, it's like, I, I'm, I'm like the worst uh, critic of my own stuff, but I think, I think when I do a piece that's really challenging, I think it, it comes out, um, I, like, I think somehow the fans can see that, and they, they, they see that it's like, so put together, and and I think a lot of times, like a piece that, that I really don't, I fight with, um, has more like uh, emotion in it, and maybe it is like passionate, like oh my god, like, you're you stupid girl. Like I really I talk to my paintings all the time, and um, and I'm not very nice sometimes to my paint to my girls, but most of the time, when I'm done a painting, I am very happy with it, and um, even though I, I think I see flaws in my work more than anybody else, but I never point them out. That's the one thing I will never do is be like, um, show a piece of art and be like, oh, I messed up on that. Because nobody notices, and it's only me that notices that. Um, so I'd rather just uh, not draw attention to what I think is a flaw, because some other people might think that that's actually the most beautiful part of the painting. Um, on average, how long does it take you to complete the work? Oh, that's funny because we were just talking about that and um, how some pieces take me um, like a week and then others take me three weeks or four weeks if it's really complicated. Um, like the My Little Pony painting, that took me forever to do, just forever. 
um, because there was so much involved in it. I mean, there was, I can't remember how many ponies I painted, but there was a lot of ponies. And it was a rainbow hair. I mean, that was insane. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and so that one took me a long time. Um, but even a simple painting where it's not rainbow hair um, can take me a while. And it, and like I said, sometimes I struggle with the painting itself. Like the girl isn't turning out the way that I want her to. It's kind of like raising a kid, I think. And I'm like, you should look like this. You should be that. And then they're not. And I'm like, you're disappointing me. <laughs> um, uh, so, you know, like this, this new piece I'm doing, the Tampopo painting. I've never painted Tampopo before. Um, but I knew exactly what I wanted. And somehow, it's, it's like, it's coming along really, really well. And I'm really excited because she's not fighting me. <laughs> so I'm really happy. But yeah, it, it, it depends. Like, I'd say between, like, one week to, to three weeks for paintings. And then, like, a comic page, I can do, like, um, depending on the amount of backgrounds, uh, I can do anywhere between, like, if it's a ten purple page, like, three pages a day, as opposed to um, Sky Pirates page, which I can do it in one day. I do one page a day. Um. How do you plan a painting or a series, and how do you come up with things that go together? Oh, um, well, I, uh, um, I think once I'm inspired by something, um, I will open up my sketchbook and do, like doodle out um, like any idea that comes into my head. And a lot of times they'll relate to each other, and it's kind of like building on the same idea. So if I want to do, um, like I did a series with Love Octopi, you know, and I think it was just kind of like me sketching out different ways of representing those, those, um, those you know, octopuses. And, and then eventually when, when I lay it all out in a sketchbook and I start flipping through the pages, um, I might have drawn about 20 images and I'll pick uh, four that, that do relate to each other. Um, and I think, um, I think it is just like a matter of inspiration like when I have an idea and I just want to um, flesh it out and then a series develops um, and right now I'm actually working towards a more surreal um, take on my paintings because up until now I've done portraits and um, or girls and, and there's there's no backgrounds um, and it's all about basically taking an animal and keeping it very realistic um, but now I've I don't know what's happened in my head Somehow, I'm melting everything, and I'm like, I'm, um, I'm taking away the, the bust, and I'm going, and like the temple painting, it's now hair and tentacles, and then I've got this other piece I was mentioning that has, um, like her body is a butter, is butterflies, um, and that actually was inspired by the monarch butterflies that nest in in Mexico, um, like millions, millions nest in these trees, and they mate, and they. They, they do their butterfly thing, and I was like, that's incredible, and these trees look like they're made of butterflies, and I'm like, wow, imagine a girl that's made up of butterflies, and I thought, how cool is that? So, um, that's, that's a standalone painting, but I think I can definitely build on it, and there's a new series of paintings I want to do where, um, up until now, I've done all, like, full color, and um, I want to just strip that away, and... Everybody says that the, the eyes are the, the soul, right? So that's exactly what I want to do with these paintings. I want nothing else to matter, basically, except for the eyes. And I want people to, like, for those eyes to be staring at you. You know, like when you move in the room, they're always following you. So that's kind of what I'm, what I'm going with the series. Um, which painting or drawing are you most proud of of all of you ever done? Wow. Ooh. Um, I love my mama bot drawing, probably the most. Um, maybe because it was for my mom, but I think it's also because uh, I did, I, I love her face. And this, it was like, I really captured the moment between this girl and her, like, her robot. Um, and there was all this stuff going on, and, and it, and it uh, I don't know, it was like, I, I don't feel like I draw things perfectly. But that one I felt like I couldn't make it better. So I think Mama Bot is like my favorite drawing. And then my favorite painting, that's that's hard. Um, maybe the one I'm, um, there's a lot that I'm really 